Isaiah 10 and 2, to turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people, that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless, okay? And the nation of Israel is a fatherless nation. That's why Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai really sent us a blessing through the men of Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai, our spiritual fathers, man. And the men who they have taught are being raised up so they can teach others, okay? So they can be the next spiritual fathers of the future, okay? But fuck a future in this place, man. We're ready for America to go down already. The elect of these tribes are ready for this place to be destroyed already, man. We're sick of this shit, man. We're sick and tired of this shit, yo. For real, man. I mean, this, this shit is played out. It is played the fuck out, man. This shit is dry. It's stale chips, man. Okay? And what will ye do in the day of visitation? And in the desolation which shall come from far? To whom will ye flee for help? And where will ye leave? And where will ye leave your glory? Okay, so that's going in a little further than what I want. But pretty much I wanted to bring out how Esau has turned everything upside down. Because of Esau's rulership, he made everything grievous, man. Our people are depressed, frustrated, can barely find jobs, man. Can barely provide as a man. Your woman don't respect you. People disrespect you. Look at you like you ain't shit, man. Here you are putting your life on the line for your nation. And these people look at you like you're fucking weird, man. These people look at you like you don't even matter, man. Okay? But it's all good, though. Because we will receive our glory in this lifetime. If we be those men, if we be of the elect, we are going to receive our glory, man. Okay? So to hell with anybody who disagrees, who doubts that, you know, this sign is right. Anyone who doubts that Yahweh and Yahweh Shai is the true names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Anyone that doubts that, uh, Esau, the so-called white man, they're going to be exterminated after a thousand years of slavery, okay? To hell with anyone who doubts that the heathens have no doings with the covenant, the beginning, and the end, Yahweh Shai, okay? He didn't come for you heathens, man. He came for the nation of Israel, and that's the truth. He came for the poor, the poor being the nation of Israel, the poor being the ones who are under the subjection under the wicked of this society, man. Okay? So let's jump to uh, Isaiah 59 right quick. But see, that's why we, we put these videos on YouTube. We put them on the internet because, see, the majority of people in this world, they're not going to listen. So when you throw these videos on the internet, people actually view your page, man, and they learn. Whether they be in London, they might be in Africa, they might be in Mexico, uh, Puerto Rico, Anywhere throughout the world, they can see your videos, okay? This is Isaiah 59 and 14. And judgment is turned away backward, and justice standeth afar off. For truth is falling in the street, and equity cannot enter. So truth is falling in the street. But us prophesying, we're bringing truth to the streets, man. But you people don't have the interest for it. You don't have the ear to want to understand. Okay? You're in your own world. You're in la-la land. But it shows you how the Lord literally created most people to be destroyed. They don't matter, man. Okay? You know, like, when you watch certain movies, and you have the main characters, of course, but then you might have the people in the background, the backdrop of the movie. Don't nobody know who they are. They're just there. Okay? That's the majority of these people in this movie. Okay, outside of the elect, a lot of you people, you're just in the movie just to be seen. But you really don't play a real important part besides to be destroyed, man. Okay? Just like in the movie War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise, you had all of them different people being destroyed. But didn't nobody know who their name were in the movie? They weren't, they weren't the main characters. <laughs> they were just people in that movie to be destroyed. Okay? So that's the majority of the people in this world. They were created to be destroyed. All right, but nevertheless, getting back to my point, the so-called white man being a ruler over us, 
okay? The so-called white man, seeing what we're doing, sees it, sees it as a threat, sees it as probably the worst thing a man could possibly do, is to come out here and prophesy against America. This, this is supposed to be the greatest nation on earth, but the greatest nation on earth is coming to a downfall, man. This place was built on slavery. This place was built on robbery. This place was built on murder. This place was built on bloodshed, okay? This place was built on um, unjustice decree, unjustified decree, man. And it's coming to an end. We're at the end of it, okay? Revelations 2 and 10. Matter of fact, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me jump back to uh, Isaiah 59. I didn't even get to pull out everything I wanted to pull out. Okay, Isaiah 59. And 14, and judgment is turned away backwards. So people get away with wickedness, man. A lot of you people may not get judged instantly, so you're you're inspired to keep doing your wickedness, right? And justice standeth afar the off. There is no justice. There hasn't been any justice for what happened to the Negro, Latino, and Native American in the past. There's no justice for that. The only way you're going to get justice for that is through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Um, for truth is falling in, in the street. So there ain't no truth out here in these streets, man. In order for you to get the, the truth, you have to go through the Lord's men, which are found on the highways and byways. We're the only ones bringing truth to the streets, man. But there was a time where the prophets were removed from the streets, man. The prophets weren't out here prophesying, okay? But now the prophets are back out on the streets prophesying unto you, giving you this truth, man, okay? Because that's a clear sign where we are. We're at the end. Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departeth from evil maketh himself a prey. So when you depart from evil, which is coming into this truth, acknowledging yourself to be an Israelite and knowing what tribe you come from through the spirit, you make yourself a prey to the so-called white man. Because Esau, the so-called white man, the devil, he gets offended when you come to your nationality. He wants to see you be a nigga your whole life, man. He wants to see you selling dope. He wants to see you dribbling a basketball, throwing a football, Okay, holding a microphone, tap dancing, okay? Esau don't want to see you as a king, as a prince. He don't want to see you as a ruler, man, okay? Because as long as you're throwing a football, playing football, uh, 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 playing basketball, getting involved in all these different sports, you're going to always be under Esau because Esau owns all that, man, okay? But guess what Esau doesn't own? He doesn't own our heritage, man. The birthright wasn't given to Esau. That was given to us through Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. And all because we speak the truth, we make ourselves a prey. People look at us like we're terrorists, man. People look at us like this is the worst thing that you could be doing. We're not out here hurting nobody. Okay, we ain't out here shooting guns. Okay, we're just out here prophesying to our people, hoping that our people can uh, receive the knowledge, man. Okay? Yeah, truth faileth, and he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Because Esau's trying to come down upon us, man. Esau's trying to throw us in them concentration camps, which is what I'm about to get back to here in a minute. And the Lord saw it, and it, and it displeased him that there was no judgment. So all this wickedness going on, and there ain't no judgment for it. And the Lord's displeased. That's why the Lord is going to have to return and do something. Because under Esau, Esau allows everything wicked to be justified, man. He hardly ever uh, uh, does any justice, man. He'll give somebody who, who murdered somebody else five years in prison, but then somebody else who does the same act, they'll get 20 years. What's up with that, man? What kind of judgment is that? All right? 
you're supposed to get put to death when you unjustly kill somebody. When you murder somebody, not kill, but when you murder somebody, you yourself are supposed to be put to death. But Esau will just throw you under the jail for five, ten years, okay, make you even more crazy, throw you back on the outside of the jail with a felon on your name. You're trying to find a job. You can't find a job because you're a felon. Okay, you go back to your bullshit, so you go back into the prison. <laughs> it's all a trap. Esau is, is, is trying to devour us. We're the prey, okay? Believe it or not, man. And we're just normal guys, man. Like, look at me. I'm just a normal guy. I'm out here prophesying by myself. Ain't nobody listening. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? Esau, the elites of Esau, they got pictures of me, all right? You better believe they know who the hell I am. You better believe they want to get their hands on me, man. But it's not time yet, okay? But when the time does come, you better believe they're going to come after us, man. Okay? All because we departed from evil and we turned back to our nationality. All because we're following our customs. That's all. Revelations 2 and 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. And that's going into the concentration camps. The devil's going to try to cast a lot of us into prison, all because we turned away from evil. We're pissing off the devil, teaching our people about who y'all really are, man. This is really the worst thing that has ever happened to Esau, seeing the men of the Lord being risen up all throughout the world and pushing this truth flooding the internet with this truth, okay? Esau is offended at the word. Esau knows his time is up, but Esau ain't trying to give it up. Esau is a prideful devil, man. So as the prideful devil that Esau is, Esau has to go down by force, just as he brought us here, by force, okay? Esau is not the type of uh, a race of people to be reasoned with. They are unreasonable men, and that same spirit is on our people because two thirds of our people are of their father the devil. They're unreasonable, but it doesn't matter because you're gonna be thrown into a concentration camp anyway, man, okay? But even some of the men of the Lord, we're gonna be caught up into them concentration camps. But even if so, we gotta, we gotta endure and stay strong, whatever happens, man, okay? Because at the end of the day, if you're of Yahweh Shai, you already won. If you're of Yahweh Shai, you already defeated death, man, even if, the so-called white man is trying to make you a prey. He might be seeking to devour us, but it's all right, though. Okay? The devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee the crown of life. So the time's going to come where the so-called white man, yeah, he's going to want to throw some of us into them concentration camps. But if that happens to you, you gotta remain strong until death. Even if you may not even have to taste death, just remain strong. And Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shah will give you that crown of life, man. It's about receiving that immortal crown. That's why we're doing what we're doing, man. Okay, we're not doing this for vain glory. We're doing this for righteous glory. We're doing this for all the right reasons, okay? And to anybody who doubts, to all you faithless believers out there, and I say faithless believers, because you have those, they might kind of believe they're an Israelite, but there's still a part of them that's, you know, kind of uncertain. That's fine. But when you're thrown up in them concentration camps, don't call on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Call on Esau to save you, all right? But I'm going to close this lesson out right there. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, okay? Baha uh, Rakakwadash, okay? And the Holy Spirit, okay? Or you could say Waha Rakakwadash and the Holy Spirit. Or Baha Sham Rakakwadash and the name Holy Spirit, okay? Because guess what? It's through the Holy Spirit that our message gets heard, man. All right? It's through the Holy Spirit that we're able to break down this truth, okay? Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the true sincere brethren around the four corners, looking up the purified truth, cleansing this wicked and
defy our kingdom with the word and the water to Yahweh Shai. Because without him, none of this would even be possible. Shalom.